is analyzing open source data to target enemy forces. Well, there is a new company playing in this space called Palantir, which is a Silicon Valley company. They are the sort of military equivalent of Microsoft, and they are using advanced algorithms to uh, track and analyze open source data that reveals the disposition of enemy forces on the ground. So they're tracking mobile phone usage and all kinds of other um, you know, search engine usage and so on. And they're using this data not only to work out where the enemy are and to pass that information as targeting data to the Ukrainians, but also uh, surprisingly to work out um, enemy intentions. So for instance, uh, when you use Facebook, um, Facebook knows before you do when you're going to get divorced based on what you do. And so, so you know, somebody who's contemplating uh, getting divorced will get served with a legal advice. And this can be quite disconcerting. How does Facebook know this? And what it's doing is it's comparing your usage to, uh, of, the, of the platform to other people's usage. And when you apply that in a military context, we're looking at what commanders are doing, if we know, you know who they are and, and what their phone numbers are, which we can do quite easily. Uh, we can be then begin to um, analyze intent. And that is hugely powerful, especially when you have artificial intelligence and machine learning um, systems applied to the um, analytics of this data. This is a real game changer. And it means that warfare has become a very complex game of finding and hiding and your electronic signature and the management of that signature has become paramount and that's something that we're already cognizant of in the uk um, russian army discipline in the use of mobile phones for example has been very weak and the attack the other day um, was you know, very easily achieved because you just saw a mass of mobile phones congregated in one area you could see that they were owned by russians you know it was easy to see that they were it was a concentration of troops and of course this plays into the uh, narrative that you know russia has not been professional in the way it's conducted this operation